Hi, my name is Macon Lohman, and I'm one of the co-founders of Letters to a Pre-Scientist, and I'm here to give you a brief history of our program. Letters to a Pre-Scientist, or LPS, was created in the fall of 2010. During this time, I was teaching sixth grade science in the eastern region of North Carolina. The school where I worked was located in a rural community surrounded by peanut and cotton farms with a population of just under 4,000 people and about a two hours drive from the nearest city. In this community, one in three children are living in poverty and over 80% of my students qualified for the federally assisted free and reduced lunch program. The complex burdens of growing up in poverty, coupled with geographical isolation, underfunded education, and a lack of visible STEM professionals in their community translated to my students not seeing themselves as scientists. In fact, when asked what a scientist looked like, most of my students described a white man in a lab coat working with chemicals. Realizing my students could use some inspiration from real-world scientists, I teamed up with Anna Goldstein, who was a chemistry doctoral candidate at UC Berkeley. Anna helped significantly grow and engage a network of scientists from across the country who wanted to exchange letters with my students. This partnership was the beginning of LPS. LPS introduced my students to science in a way I was not able to do on my own. The scientist pen pals were able to personalize letters to spark students' interest in a range of science careers, to answer questions about college and classes they should be taking in high school, to humanize scientists by sharing their own hobbies and what they were like in middle school. But most importantly, these pen pals helped students to see themselves as future scientists. In 2012, I was leaving the classroom for graduate school, so we decided to transition the program into another North Carolina school. Lucy Madden, the current CEO of LPS, was teaching in Durham, North Carolina at that time when she excitedly agreed to host LPS in her classroom. Seeing the success in Lucy's classroom, we decided to pilot the program in a Chicago school, expanding our reach to 175 students. Our growth continued, and by 2015, we had brought on Aaliyah Weinstein to expand our media and outreach efforts. And LPS was now reaching 500 students across seven classrooms. In 2017, while active in nine classrooms, reaching 650 students, Lucy began working to secure fiscal sponsorship and host our first fundraiser, as well as achieve our first grant. In the 2018-2019 school year, we worked with 12 teachers and 850 students. This year, we're doubling in size and we'll work with 25 teachers and over 1,700 students. We hope you enjoyed this brief history of LPS, and we're greatly looking forward to collaborating with you during this upcoming school year.